like being on my own I could use someone to hold And I've been trying to fill the void But my bed is getting cold Cause I don't have you, I don't have us At least not anymore You said you had to go away Just to figure out who you are And I'm in this Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I have six yummy cozy coffee drinks to share with all of you. They are all Christmas inspired so I really hope you enjoy them and we will be starting the video off with this yummy cozy eggnog latte and here are the ingredients. This is what you will need and you can make it vegan. You can try to. Um, I didn't make it vegan. I used what I would normally use but you are welcome to take out ingredients or replace ingredients or do whatever you want with them but what you will need if you are making it like me is some whipped cream vanilla cinnamon eggnog 2% milk or just milk in general some coffee and some cinnamon sticks and I am using Javi coffee because today's video is sponsored by Javi in every single recipe I am going to be using some Javi coffee which is so delicious they have so many different flavors in their Javi coffee and I am using the mocha Javi coffee but I have tried the original Javi coffee the pumpkin spice Javi coffee and now the mocha Javi coffee and they are all so delicious and the flavors are just so rich and so yummy it honestly just tastes like chocolate especially this one but the pumpkin spice also had like a pumpkin flavor and it was a little spiced and it was so good and the original Javi coffee is also so phenomenal it is so rich in flavor and so good i will have everything down in the description so if you are interested in getting yourself some javi coffee concentrate then that will be down there because it is so worth it and so delicious but it will all be down there and thank you so much javi coffee for sponsoring today's video so i can use all of this yummy coffee in every single one of these drinks and recipes and i really hope you enjoy today's video to make the eggnog I just poured some eggnog and then also some 2% milk with some vanilla extract into a pot and on some heat on the stove so it could warm it up and then I am going to add some Javi coffee to the bottom of my cup and while I add in the eggnog milk um, it will mix up all the coffee so that is just how I did it and then I'm also going to top it off with some delicious whipped cream and some cinnamon on top but I don't have you I don't have us at least not anymore now I'm just waiting for love waiting for love for garnish I am also going to add a cinnamon stick and I think this drink turned out so so yummy and so cozy with the hints of spice and cinnamon but then there's also eggnog and it's warmed up it was so delicious and I honestly recommend trying this one out if you do enjoy some eggnog now for the second one of my favorites a peppermint mocha this one is so warm and cozy and for the ingredients you will need dark chocolate or milk chocolate just chocolate in general I would use milk chocolate but my store only had dark chocolate and it turned out delicious anyways um, some whipped cream a peppermint candy cane which I love so much peppermint extract coffee and milk and to make it vegetarian or vegan you can use oat milk coconut milk or almond milk whatever you would like for a milk and then also use some super dark chocolate and that way you can make it vegan or vegetarian and then for the whipped cream you can make your own whipped cream with some oat milk or almond milk coconut milk anything you would like but that is just a way for you to make it if you are vegan or vegetarian how I made it is I put some milk on the stove to warm it up and then threw some chocolate so it could melt in the hot milk with some drops of peppermint extract. I only used like three drops of peppermint extract so it wouldn't be too much peppermint and that's just how I made it and then I put some coffee down at the bottom of my mug, poured in the peppermint chocolate mocha 
uh, milk <laughs> to mix up all of the coffee. Topped it off with some whipped cream and a candy cane and then some crushed uh, peppermint candy cane for the topping and it turned out so good. It was so cozy and so delicious. Honestly, one of my favorite drinks and it tastes like just like Starbucks but not as much peppermint as they use. It's honestly so delicious and a good copycat recipe. It's hopeless to be holding on to you. I guess we forgot about the way we could sit and talk all night. We just let the good times pass and got caught up in. The next drink that I have is a sugar cookie latte and Starbucks has this out right now but I wanted to make my own and oh my gosh it was my favorite. I've been making this one since because it is just so delicious. So what you will need for this one if you want to make yourself a sugar cookie latte, you will need some sprinkles, some coffee, almond extract, white chocolate chips, half and half and some whipped cream and I also use some 2% milk so if you want you can add that in as well um, and again you can make this one vegan or vegetarian just using the same ingredients as last time but they are just so delicious and this one was my favorite drink for sure so so yummy so what you will need to do is put some half and half in a pot to warm it up for on the stove then you'll put your white chocolate chips some almond extract and just mix it up as much as you can and I put a lot of white chocolate I did not know how much because the recipe is my own recipe so I just did what I thought I would need and I will link I will like leave everything down below I will leave the recipes that I did find for some of these drinks down in the description but I will also leave my own recipe so if you do want to follow my own recipe and copy that to make your own drink because it was so delicious and what I did is the same just put some coffee down at the bottom of the mug filled it up with the milk that tastes so good topped it off with whipped cream and some red and green sprinkles with some peppermint because that was what was left in the other thing where I put the peppermint so it all turned out so good and so delicious I honestly recommend trying this one because it was my favorite so you don't mind but that's a lie I thought we'd work it out I've tried to let you go Memories they tend to stay Doesn't matter anyway Cause it won't be a May Now I'm For the fourth drink that I have for you. It is an iced chai eggnog. This one is so perfect if you love chai tea and eggnog and ice drinks. It is so yummy. One of my favorites. You will need some coffee, eggnog, nutmeg, and chai tea. You can use the chai chai tea bag or chai tea concentrate. I've used it with both and they both are so yummy and delicious and both taste like similar. Um, I'm going to steep the tea bag now so I can get the chai tea out of the bag and just steep it which is so yummy and for this drink too if you don't want to use coffee you don't have to drink it with coffee you can just use the chai tea concentrate or chai tea bag with some eggnog and ice and nutmeg and it will be delicious as well but I want to use coffee because I need that burst of energy it's just so yummy and I love coffee so I did want to add my own coffee in it but after the tea is steeped I did add coffee and then I filled up eggnog put some ice in it and then I started frothing up some eggnog to put on the very top and once I had the froth I poured it on top which I always love some cold foam it is so delicious and then I topped it off with a line of nutmeg which works so perfect because it gives it the perfect um, spice flavor which tea chai tea already has spice in it but it adds to it and it makes it so young love, waiting for love try to forget about you makes me restless waiting for love waiting for love I don't know what else I can do it's hopeless to be holding on to you this one is another one I 
fully recommend because it is so perfect and so easy to make. You can have it hot or cold and this one is all year round. You don't need it around Christmas time because it's chai tea and it goes perfect just whenever, especially on cozy uh, rainy days or cozy winter days. It is just such a cozy drink. And again, you can make it hot or cold. It goes either way. I have for you is a snickerdoodle coffee if you love snickerdoodle cookies you will for sure love this one you will need some cinnamon brown sugar coffee and milk and this one is so spiced and it's also sweet and just so tasty I'm not a huge snickerdoodle cookie fan but this coffee was really delicious and it really is perfect for a cozy day how I made this drink is I put some milk in a pot to warm up on the stove just like all the other ones put some brown sugar just a couple of scoops of brown sugar in it so it could dissolve and melt and I also threw like probably a teaspoon of cinnamon in it and just mixed it all up and now I'm just letting it heat up while I put um, some coffee in my mug then I pour in the milk that tastes like snickerdoodle it is so cozy and so delicious and then I am going to top it off with some cinnamon milk cold foam or froth and then I am going to also top it off with some more cinnamon waiting for love waiting for love try to forget about you makes me restless waiting for love waiting for love I don't know what else I can do it's hopeless too For the very last drink that I have for you guys, it is an iced white peppermint mocha, another one of my favorites, honestly my most favorite. I love white peppermint mochas. This one, you will need some coffee, a peppermint candy cane, white chocolate chips, peppermint extract, and again, some milk. And what you will need is a cup filled with ice so it can be an ice drink and then you will pour some coffee in it some more milk so that you can put it and mix it with the coffee then I warmed up some white chocolate with some peppermint extract in it so it could all be melted and I stirred it in to the drink topped it off with whipped cream and then I also topped it off with the candy cane and some crushed candy cane crumbles and then I also put two Christmas tree marshmallows in on the whipped cream and it turned out so cute and so delicious honestly one of my favorites I could drink this all day long. It's not too much peppermint. It's so perfect And I only used like three drops as well because I didn't want to be too much peppermint It's honestly just the perfect touch of peppermint and again It's just super cozy even though it's iced and really cute to take a picture of <laughs> Well friends, that is it for today's video. I showed you six yummy, delicious, cozy coffee recipes for Christmas time and for the holidays. I really hope that you enjoyed it and got some inspiration to make yourself some yummy, cozy Christmas drinks to sip on and that will give you some energy throughout the day, but they are also just very beautiful and so yummy to drink out of, filled with so much flavor and joy. I just love them so much, but I really hope you enjoyed them. I will see you all again next time. Please don't forget to check down in the description for Javi Coffee Concentrate if you are interested because they did sponsor today's video and I want to thank them so much. Thank you so much Javi for sponsoring again another video of mine. I appreciate you so much. 
um but i will see you guys all again next time also you can check the description for the recipes and the pinterest links so if you do want to have the recipes for them they will be down there but again i will see you guys all again next time please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this video and my channel because i'd really love to have you and chat with you guys and if you want more inspiration and motivation then subscribe to my channel and you can also follow my instagram our little bloom but i will see you all again next time bye <music>